I find that my contacts through my or my child's association are jumbled together. It would be nice to have a purpose for each of my contacts, such as dance moms from Mrs. Smith's class, taekwondo parents, neighborhood carpool, math study group, etc. So if I want to email or message out to a group, I can do so very quickly without having to look up and enter emails one by one. Blooms also allows me to interact with my connections one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. Groups bring together a set of people with a common purpose and give them a shared view. Similarly, subgroups allow a shared view for a smaller group nested within a larger one. For example, my child's school PTA is a group with several subgroups for various committees. Only users with administrative rights can create groups and subgroups. To create a group, I click on Add below Communities, Groups, Classes. Then I select Create Group. I give a name to my group and provide a short description so when I invite members, they immediately recognize the purpose of the group. To create a subgroup in a group, I first select the group under which I want to create the subgroup. I select the Members tab, then click Members Plus. I click on Create Subgroups, then follow the process for giving my subgroup a name and inviting members. If I want to create a subgroup in a community, I select the community under which I want to create subgroups and follow the same process. To invite members to my group or subgroup, I select the Members tab, then click on Members Plus. I click inside the Invite Members box and begin entering names for contacts who are existing Bloom's users. I will type in full email addresses for contacts who are not yet on Bloom's. They will receive the invitation via email. If I have a large group of people to invite, I can always use the Bulk Invite tool to import my list of invitees. Now I'm ready to start communicating with my group or subgroup by posting announcements, updates, sharing photos, etc. For a tutorial on how to post messages, photos, and documents on Blooms, please view our video under Posting and Messaging. Please note that the Blooms app is available on your mobile, tablet, and desktop.